Which donut would you rather have? They both came from the same shop. Hey, they look exactly the same. But when I did a survey, 100% of the people would rather have the donut from one box than the other. If you don't know me, my name is Paul Reeser. My partners and I own 38 Sonic drive-ins until we recently sold them all. Now I make videos just teaching the lessons I learned over 30 years of growing a successful business. Now, on with the donut story. So one day we were having a manager meeting and all my managers were in one room. And I said, hey guys, you deserve a treat today. So I ran out of the room, came back in with a box of hot, fresh donuts I picked up on my way to the meeting. Well, everybody was enjoying those donuts. Who doesn't like a hot, fluffy donut? Well, I said, I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, Paul, some of us drove hours. We're gonna be in this meeting all day and you only get us one donut? I said, you're right. I ran out of the room, came back in with another box of donuts, started and handed them out. Well, this time, everyone didn't look very happy at all. They started looking at the donuts and uh, they were not happy. And I tell you the truth, the second box of donuts was not very good. They were dry, they were stale. So everyone was just kind of picking at the donuts and they were looking confused. And I said, hey guys, why don't you like the second box of donuts as much as the first? I mean, they came from the same location. They're in the same box, they're the same flavor. I don't get it. Oh, wait a minute. I know what it is. The first box of donuts I picked up on my way to the meeting just about 20 minutes ago. The second box I got four days ago. Well, everyone started sp spitting out their donuts and throwing down their plates and they're like, man, you're trying to poison us. Oh, don't act like you've never eaten a four day old donut. Why would I do such a thing? Why would I play such a trick on my managers? Well, to prove a point. Quick aside. Here's something a lot of people don't know about restaurants. Every restaurant has its own set of standards when it comes to the food they sell. First of all, it has to be safe. Second of all, it has to be a quality that's good enough. For example, Sonic has hot holding equipment that can safely hold food for hours, but the standard says you can only hold it for 30 minutes to maintain acceptable quality. And our bread company says we can use buns that were baked five days ago and still maintain acceptable quality. And now, back to the donut story. Then I ask all my managers, if there were two donut shops on your way to work every morning, and one of them always had hot, fresh donuts, and the other one sometimes had hot, fresh donuts, sometimes had cold, stale donuts, which one would you go to? Which one would you go to? Well, no surprise, 100% of them said they would go to the one that always had hot, fresh donuts. Well, here's the lesson. We make this mistake all the time in our restaurants. I'll give you an example. We have customers who come to our stores and sometimes they get a hot, juicy grilled chicken sandwich right off the grill on a fluffy, soft bun. We used to have grilled chicken sandwiches, but other times they come to our restaurant and they get a 29 minute old dry chicken patty on a four day old bun. Technically, it's acceptable quality, but it's just not as good as the one they got last time they were here. I'm not saying don't ever use the warming drawer. It is an awesome tool to help speed up service. I'm just saying use them wisely. Just because you can hold food for 30 minutes doesn't mean you should. If you're going into lunch and you know you're gonna need 25 grilled chicken sandwiches between 11 and 1.30, don't cook all 25 grilled chicken sandwiches at 11 o'clock. Spread it out during the day. Cook less more often to improve quality. And this makes a huge difference because everyone just said, if it was me, I would go to the place that was always good. And if we're really honest with ourselves, sometimes we change our standards from hold 30 minutes to hold until sold. But people say, Paul, you ask too much. Hey, good help is hard to find. And we have to use warming drawers so we can be fast. And we can't throw away product. Food cost is too high. Yes, it is very difficult difficult, but some restaurants do get it done. And we have to put in the extra effort because we want to be the donut shop that everyone goes to instead of the one that people drive by on their way to the good donut shop. Hey, we can't be perfect every time, but we can strive to be better every day. And I promise my managers who focused on no stale donuts made a lot more sales and profits than the ones who didn't. To grow your restaurant sales, make sure you don't make the common mistakes I found in this Gordon Ramsay show. So watch this video next.